Hello and welcome to another Popper video. I'm Kelly Kais and today we're going to be playing Poison Storm again. I love this deck. We are going to give our opponent poison counters with Infectious Inquiry or Prologue to Phyresis, which draws us cards. And then we're going to continue drawing cards with cards like Contentious Plan, draw a card, Experimental Augury, draw a card, <laughs> Fifth Assertion's Insight, draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> and then by drawing cards over and over and over, we're going to kill our opponent, put them to 10 poison, then they're dead. And uh, this deck is really cool because we have seven initial poisons here, and then we have uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 proliferations. We continue proliferating the poison onto our opponent. We can also continue to make our depletion lands tap for two mana. They'll never die because we keep proliferating them. We make Everflowing Chalice bigger and bigger and bigger to tap for millions of mana. And to add Prism, taps for millions, doesn't tap for mana, but you can remove a charge counter on it to add mana of any color. And what this does is Pentad Prism acts as kind of like your, your Baral or your Sunscape Familiar because it cost reduces all of your proliferation spells. And if you have two Pentad Prisms in play, all of your two mana proliferation are free. And then, you know, Thirsting Roots can be a dark ritual, putting mana onto your Chalice and your Pentad Prism, etc. One of the main changes that I made recently in this deck was adding Energy Refractor. I just feel like this is really a blue deck, splashing green and black. It's really like blue, green, and a little bit of black. But that makes this deck um, a lot easier to get actual blue mana. And I'm sticking with my 20 lands because I feel that that is the best number of lands to have good openers. In the sideboard, I'm trying Seal of Removal here which is sacrifice to return target creature to his owner's hand. I think this is probably the best answer for this specific deck for all that glitters, because if it makes it to the table, you're gonna remove in all that glitters basically without any uh, way for them to deal with it. Then I have two arms of Hadar as a sweeper, so that can work versus token strategies. And then three moments piece. I don't think we need the full four moments piece. I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough room, so three is good. Three bring the ending for counterspell decks and three serrated arrows. I really like serrated arrows for cleaning up versus like terror decks or other control decks. And it's really awesome because you can put the arrow counter on your, the minus one, minus one counter on your opponent's creatures and then proliferate that, make it more and more minus one counters, which actually will kill their creatures, which is really sweet. So if you're interested in checking out the sideboard guide, I uh, will have a sideboard guide up later today for this specific list. And that is on Patreon, patreon.com slash We also would, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about Poison Storm. If it's your favorite deck or if it's your least favorite deck, you can let me know, that's all good. This video is brought to us by Card Market. Uh, check them out if you want to pick up the cards in this uh, video, especially if you're in Europe. Um, I really appreciate them giving me the sponsor, and I will see you in the matches. Okay, we're here in round one. We have a really sweet hand because this has turn one depletion, turn two off color land into prism plus contentious plan, which leaves us with five mana untapping on turn three. So we will keep. Uh, I'll turn off my upkeep stop here and let my opponent do their thing. They play a Rust Veil Bridge indicating maybe Boros, maybe uh, Jeskai Affinity. Could also be uh, Wildfire. Looks to be some sort of Boros or Affinity deck. Play a Seeker of the Way, so it's definitely Boros. So because it's Boros, I think I'm just gonna go Scary here, pass, and then next turn I'll go Pentad Prism, Heat Bog Contentious Plan, and then untap with a ton of mana on the next turn. They have a really fancy Seeker of the Way. So the Synthesizer resolves, they find a Glenhawk. They're gonna Glenhawk picking up the Synthesizer and hopefully they find like a two or three drop. They don't get to do anything with their mana. Taps for red and tries to cast the Glenhawk, untaps, taps for white, cast the Glenhawk. <laughs> okay, what do you find? Finds a Galvanic Blast, plays a land and they're gonna go four damage face, damn. They are moving very quickly here. We're taking four going to 12. Next turn is gonna be at least five damage. So we have to try to find our, um, our weather the storm quite quickly here. Play the peat bog, play the contentious plan. Doot, 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 doot. 
Okay, not great. So I think the plan is to just play out the Vivisurgeon's Insight as the first thing we do on our turn. We could seriously be dead here. But I think that they will probably scoop to Weather the Storm plus Moments Piece, so I think we're fine post-board. Could also just go for, like, the Serrated Arrows. It's really the secret of the way that's the big problem at the moment. There's an Ancient Den after playing the Synthesizer. Lembus, so this is 6 damage. Right. If they have Galvanic, we go to 1. They go top. Taking 6 here. Going to 6 life. So if I don't draw Weather the Storm, I'm dead. Do do do. We're going to cast Insight. I guess Boros got fast. We draw 1 Weather the Storm. Uh, I'm going to scoop. We, I mean, what are we doing here? We're going to gain 6 life and then die with lots of lands in hand. That did not work out, unfortunately. So I know that they're going to be bringing in things like, uh, well, here, I'm conceding. Conceding, yes. So what are the good things? I think Moments Peace. I think Chalice is probably not so useful here. And then I think I can afford to cut one Energy Refractor. I don't really like cutting on the big draw spells, even though Deep Analysis is not very good uh, versus something where they're pressuring your life total. I think that this deck needs very, very, very many uh, actual card draw spells, so we're going to keep it in the deck. And I just don't feel like bringing in Brain the Ending is absolutely necessary here. Okay, we're on the play. We're looking to start quickly. We have a decent start. I'm going to keep this. Like, we have the Pentad Prism and the Everflowing Chalice. We have no proliferation right now. That is our main problem. Play the Peat Bog. Rest the turn. Get our tap land out of the way. Weather the storm in hand is good. Probably gonna have cast into the fires and stuff. Great furnace into pass. I'm gonna play a land and pass the turn. My expectation is they have pyroblast um, available here. I just go lightning bolt. Okay. Synthesizer into what? Wind's guard crags. So they're gonna play their tap land. Now we have a, a window to do something. So I'll go pentad prism into land plus chalice and then i'll cast the contentious plan here so now we have tons of mana doot 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 and i can pass so we have six seven eight mana available if they go for like the dust dust we have to weather the storm there's a secret away okay so i can start off on drawing two cards multiple thirsting roots okay let's go Search your library for a basic, get the forest, or the forest, and then I'm going to proliferate a couple of times, and then proliferate again, and then I'll go for the weather storm in 15. Okay, so next turn, we have deep analysis X2, and we have the moments piece. Uh, we're looking for a proliferation, I guess, at this point. Pass the turn. Our chalice taps for a million mana at four. Effectively a million. <laughs> Find a barbed batter fist. Casts it. So this is a 4-4 four four now. They're definitely adding to the table. What you got left? Plays a novice inspector. So they've tapped out. Giving us another window. Gets in. I'm going to lead on the deep analysis from the yard. I find a prologue. Cast it. Play the land. I'll pass the turn. We have Weathered Storm and Moments Peace. Plays a Skyfisher. So we want probably to save the Moments Peace as long as possible, I guess. Exiles an Ancient Den. Off uh, picking up the Synthesizer. Plays a Synthesizer again. Storm is two. And now it's three, six, seven, eight. Finds a Pyroblast that they can't cast. Plays a Limbus. All right, so we have to weigh the options here. Weather Storm is 12. This is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So Weather Storm is more life here. Okay, Weather Resolves. They bottom with a Lembus and attack for 8. They made a 29. I could have Moments Beast or Weathered, and I felt like the Weather was giving, giving us more life there. So now, by Insight, maybe I should leave open 1 blue mana versus the green. Play the Peat Bog and play the Insight. You, okay. Looking contentious plan now. You again. 
Now we have a uh, double moments piece, triple moments piece. Okay. I would doubt that they have flaring pain brought in here. Cracks the synthesizer. They find a mountain. Plays the mountain. Plays at the Raven. Okay. And get in for it. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll take the eight. Do I even need to? I'll still take it. My turn. I'm going to play this woodlot. Then draw some cards with Infectious Inquiry going to 19. Trying to save all the mana off of these. Let's cast Insight and see if that resolves. Yay, it resolves. You go to five poison. Now we can cast this plan. We're at six poison. I'm going to tap this now. We'll go Augury. Mm. Let's black. So I'm going to raw draw cards first because that gives us more options. Luckily, we drew into the prism here. Now I can uh, Augury with this other prism. And now I have like my combo online where all my two drops are free. Grab a prologue. You. I guess the only problem now is that. Oh, never mind. They're dead. <laughs> prologue. I was going to say, like, oh, we have to leave up mana, but they're just dead. So got a little lost in the sauce there. You. All right, that's how it's supposed to go versus the Boros. We didn't even use our moments pieces, so they're unlikely to bring in the flaring pain. Let's leave it like that. All right, we have a hand with a prism, but no proliferation. Double big spell and an off-color thing. I think I have to mulligan this one. Mulligan again. So this is the risk with the deck. Like when you one lander, you can't do anything. We're keeping this, putting back inquir er, inquiry and going to be the island here and contentious plan. Pretty bad. So let's lead on scary. And then we're going to go peat bog, then scary, and then prologue plus augury at some point. Peat bog. I'm going to just see if they tap out, basically. If they do tap out, I can cast this prologue because if I get my proliferation like to be the first thing that I'm doing then I will probably be in a capacity to lead to win the game there's a sky fisher let's just prologue here now we have double uh, proliferation that's pretty good they pick up their land and replay it play the scary and pass now I'm looking for a green source so I can weather they get in for two are you gonna do anything else is a Glenhawk picking up a land? What are the odds they have double Pyroblast here? I don't think I can play around that. Let's go Contentious Plan. Okay, they didn't have a Pyroblast at all. Pass the Chalice. Okay, now I'm looking for a green source. Find another Augury. All right, your turn. So the green sources that I have in the deck, do I have any Refractors left? They Bolt us. I have one Refractor. I also have Pentad Prisms. I'm taking four. If they have double galvanic or dead, they did not have double galvanic, but they are really close to killing us. Another weather. Okay, I'm gonna lead on augury. Find the refractor. Jeez. You. Okay, done. Play the refractor. See if I can draw anything else. Play a peat bog. Make a green mana. Gain 12. They do have six damage. They dust to dust. That's a big problem. It's in for six. Deep analysis. Trying to find a prism. Analysis again. Trying to find a green land. Play land. All right. So if they have one burn spell, we're dead. Synthesizer is not a bolt. Finds another synthesizer. I assume they play it. Finds a galvanic. There's a glenhawk. Okay, they can pick up the furnace, play the galvanic, and we're dead. That was a tight game. We had no green sources. They brought in the dust to dust. Didn't win it. That was sad. Uh, there were two aggro in game one and game three. I'm mulligan too far. Let's go to round two. Round two, we're on the play. Okay, this is a hand I think I can keep because we have turn two inquiry, turn three plan. Go from there. All right, I'll play the peat bog and that's my turn. Whoop. Okay, peat bog, your turn. Opponent's on mountain. So oh, they're on burn. All right, so we drew a chalice, which means it's probably better to just go chalice into the contentious plan, given they're on burn. Set up more mana. 
and try to find some green sources. There's a refractor, so I think we're good on green sources now. So this next turn, we can just play out the Vivisurgeon's Insight. They play a Goblin Tomb Raider, get in for three, right? I guess we could also just go Energy Refractor, Rock Hard, into Sappers and Scary. Let's play the Vexious Inquiry, pass the turn. I know I'm putting myself at risk here by playing the Inquiry there, but I wanted to just like get them poisoned right away. And they're whiffing on lands. We're taking three here. We can go Chalice on one, play a land. Seems unlikely that we'll die this turn, so I'm going to take the risk. Dune, 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 Dune. You're at two. And next turn, we can really pop off. We have double weather the storm in hand. Plays a Tomb Raider, so they're going to attack for five here. But we will go Insight, Prologue, Weather, Weather. That's a lot of, a lot of life. Um, let's see. Cast this. Play Scary. Play Insight. Two, three... You now I can convert to blue contentious plan. You again and make a green. We draw another weather the storm. Uh, we'll gain 12 and hopefully next turn either win or put them out of range so that they scoop or us out of range so that they scoop. We're at 18 again. They have two mana now, so they could bushwhacker us. We have a lot of mana in play. We have 11 mana just from chalices. Play a Synthesizer Finding a Mountain, which they can't play. Pain Lightning Us, I'm not paying. Gets in for five. We go to 10. All right, I'm at 10. My turn. So let's start on let's Inquiry. Draw some cards. Play a Prologue. Draw some cards. Play an Augury. So we get a bunch of mana. Take the Deep Analysis, I guess. We have lots of lands and stuff already. Done. Then I will use my blue pip, draw some cards. Use another blue here, prologue. Come on, there we go. Find an augury. Take a blue here. Cast the augury. Storm is six. Find an inquiry. You. And I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't think there's anything they, they could have. So let's just inquiry. Donk. In the game. They were stuck on land, so, and we drew all of our Weather the Storms. We're going to bring in the Moments pieces. I'm going to cut two Chalice and a land and an Energy Refractor. Oh, just, maybe just the, I think I want the Chalices for speed, right? It's tough. I think I would rather have the Deep Analysis than the Inquiry. So I'm bringing in Moments pieces, cutting the Chalice. It's okay, we have a little bit less prolifer less uh, poison, but we're still... Consistent in the early game. All right, we can't keep this hand because we have no early plays and no colors, really, just the color. This is risky. If we don't find blue, we're dead, so I'm going to mulligan. Mulligan again. All right, we're keeping. We'll put back the non tap lands and heat bog, I guess. So the only way we win this is by drawing a proliferation and then going insight off on turn. Three or four. We'll go peat bog into scary. Or woodlot, I think, maybe first now that we have the green source. <laughs> we can just play tap land, tap land, tap land, and then turn four, go pentad prism, vivisurgeon's insight. Okay, peat bog, pass the turn. Seems to be holding up a uh, pyroblast from the opponent. It's developing my mana. It's chain lightning us. Find a thirsting roots. Play the scary, I'll pass the turn. Play a seal of fire. All right, so I'm going to go tap, tap, play Pentad Prism. And I'm going to attempt to use the blue for a prologue. I raise the effigy, destroy target artifact. All right, I'm just going to get some mana off of it. My artifact is dead. Okay, we draw a card. Then I can experimental augury. So I was floating the green in case I had the weather the storm, and I did draw the weather the storm. Really nice for me. So do we want the land or the deep analysis? Probably the land. You. All right. Done. 
play land, play Weatherstorm, gain 15 life. So maybe they did not have a Pyroblast then if they went for the Raise the Effigy. Chain Lightning putting us to 29. A healthy 29. Anything else? No. We're going to cast Insight and hope that they don't have a Pyro. They didn't have it. Let's go. All right. Uh, I think I just play Augury. Looking for uh, some other ways to get a lot of uh, card draw. Find an Inquiry, which is fine. You go to four. I'm just trying to prioritize cards at this point, which is why I took the Inquiry over the Weather of the Storm or anything else. Or even the Scary, even though the Scary was nice and we would have wanted more blue mana. They bolt us to 26. Synthesizer. Sure. Another bolt. They're going to probably bolt. Yep. Find a moment's piece that doesn't matter that much. Let's cast this inquiry. They go to five poison. Find a weather the storm. I'll cast the contentious plan. You, okay. And another moment's piece. So now I could go land into thirsting roots, proliferation, which you just seven, and then cast a weather the storm. We're at thirty three again. We've cast what three weather the storms? Two. Opponent cracks the, the synthesizer. I guess they're looking for a land. They find a mountain. Don't do anything with it. So let's lead on the regular draw spell. That just, you know, we want the blind draw before we use our card selection since the experimental augury can give us more looks at stuff. I'm going to tap this in augury. Just floating my extra colors. And we find a poison spell and they're dead. All right, we win the game. Weird to just win versus burn and lose versus boros but that boros opponent went super hyper aggro and we mold really fed and we win the match we're on one and one let's go to round three and okay, we're here in round three we are on the play we're looking to cast some big vivisurgeons insights uh but we don't <laughs> we can't cast it we don't have any lands mulligan okay this is really good i'm gonna keep what do i put back I'm going to put back the Inquiry. I feel like actually poisoning your opponent is probably the least of our worries, generally. Let's pass the turn. We have a turn three insight to draw three. I'm going to leave that up until we get to draw our three. Oh, we're facing gardens. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. The best. All right. So how are we going to push the advantage? I think we just have to play our cards and then play our turn three insight and then go from there, like casting our prisms and refractors and stuff. They play a plant, colony garden, peat bog. All right, play that. Things are changing. I'm playing the peat bog because next turn I can go prism, prism, land, insight, because it'd be one, two, three, four, five mana. Draw three cards, untap with like 15 mana or whatever. It'd actually be six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 mana. All right, you have nothing. Lots of stuff in your hand, probably. Go prism. Uh-huh. Go prism. And then we're going to tap, go white. I'm holding the W key when clicking those to make it easier. Draw three cards. So now we do need to find some way to poison them. Otherwise, we might just take a really long time for us to actually win the game. Let's just get the refractor into play and draw a card and pass the turn. Another refractor. That doesn't do that much. I'm trying to, once again, blind draw before I actually cast the cards that have selection. And I want to save the Thirsting Roots as long as possible, trying to get it to actually poison them out. We can probably just go, like, tap the blue for the Energy Refractor, see what we draw. And then maybe cast an, ins an Augury looking for a Poison Spell. My opponent is going to cast their Avenging Hunter. So now we are on the, on the clock. They're not going to kill us the next turn, but the turn after that, we're likely to be dead. Find a contentious plan. Let's lead on Refractor. Draw a card. A land. All right, we'll play the contentious plan. So it's a zero mana card draw, but we're looking for our poison spells. Or, I guess, also a weather the storm would be okay. Deep analysis. I'm going to experimental augury. I found the weather. I can experimental augury again. Still looking for a poison spell. Find the prologue. All right. Now we can prologue them. They get a poison. We're going to Thirsting Roots, proliferate. Do, do. 
We got a two poison. It's turn five, so this is pretty slow for us. But now we have double weather the storm. All right, go ahead. So we're currently at 70, maybe? Let's see, 65. So I'd say we have a few turns. I love it. Okay, they make their plant bigger. Sure. We're just gonna draw cards. Get in. Okay. Oh no, duress. That's not good. They play a land already? They played a swamp, okay. Taking my four cards and reducing it to two cards is big game for me. <laughs> we drop deck, we top deck another deep analysis. That feels good. Draw two, tap for six mana. Draw two cards. Uh, two, three, four. It's gonna draw two cards again. Find a contentious plan. Let's cast the plan. They go to three poison. And then I'll Pentad Prism again, and I'll pass the turn. Our Refractor has not been doing very much this game, because we just had all, all the time in the world to do stuff. And they Fanatical Offering, Sacrificing the Lembus. And one thing I learned uh, yesterday was that uh, what's cool about Lembus is, as opposed to something like uh, Chromatic Star or whatever, if you Deadly Dispute it, it's going to go back into your deck, so... Likely to draw it again, you can deadly dispute it again. That's kind of neat. In the cases when you're not actually just getting back your wellsprings. They get in for seven. They have Dome Dust for five off the trap. We're now at 40. Duress probably takes the Viva Surgeon's insight. Yep. When it's on double duress in the main deck, sort of surprising. So far has not really accomplished that much. And again, this is sort of why I'm want wanting to play all the big, big, big draw spells. We have another deep analysis. I'm just going to tap my mana. Draw two. Find an inquiry. Draw two again. And just plan. So now I get to get mana on my prisms. Poison you. Another pentad prism. Play a land. Let's draw two from the graveyard for two mana. Okay, good. We'll play another prism. Let's see if we can dead them. Green. Let's proliferate. Boom, boom. They're at six. Black. That's Infectious Inquiry. We have three mana to work with. We can't get there. Darn. Try a prologue. Put them to eight. Viva Surgeon's Insight. Could not win this turn. Too bad. So let's see if they have another Duress. They're not currently going to get into the throne. They do get to draw a card. Play the land. We get hit for seven. We're now under 30 life. Go to 26. We're gonna play a 6-5 super tramp super menace creature, Troll of Casa Doom. Okay, let's go a chalice. And then I'll play another chalice. So this is mana neutral, basically. Because I'm gonna get the mana back after casting the insight. Insight two. Alright, now I just just it's just a matter of clicking. And uh I'll just give them some counters on their plant. I mean, just to be uh, kind, I guess. Let's draw some more cards. We. It's nice that we get to win by just drawing cards. Like the fa my favorite thing in Magic is just drawing cards, making their plants bigger. Okay, win the game. So post board. <clears throat> we probably just want to bring in the moments piece, and then we can cut one of the refractors because that's not really necessary. We have plenty of time. Cutting a chalice, because there's plenty of time. Maybe just two chalices. And I think that the moment piece is good because it if they get a fast start, it just buys us more turns. Alright, we have a fine hand. Let's just keep it and then start uh cantripping. So I think Peat Bog probably first. Play a haunted mire. Just because Peat Bog can cast our um proliferation, not our proliferation, our poison spells. And the Hickory Woodlot's not quite as necessary right away. You're going to duress me? Divest. Ha! Gotcha. Love it. <laughs> oh, man. Brutal. Um, I have double proliferation. I'll play the Woodlot out. And then after this, I'm just going to focus on getting uh, blue spells into the battlefield. I mean, blue lands so I can cast my blue spells. There's a Tiding Blade just so they can have something to uh, deadly dispute. Going to Experimental Inquiry, Augury. 
looking for hmm, I guess I'll just take the weather the storm some stuff back on my lands it's gonna pass the turn I think I'm augury using the augury to look for cards that will let me poison them or like a refractor would be nice Trouble maker oof so they have a 2-2 two -two. makes sense okay I play my scary play augury looking for pentad prism Take the insight here. All right, they fanatical offering the tithing blade. We have our Sacrosan Scary, which I love. It's a that's for two. Uh, they're gonna duress the insight. Darn. They could also try to duress the weather of the storm. They're not really doing anything. They take the weather of the storm. Wow. Very macabre. Okay. They're just trying to put creatures on the table. Gets in for three. All right, uh, tap, tap. Let's cast this insight, leaving up the green. Doot, doot. We find another Vivisurgeon's insight. Play a contentious plan, draw more cards, and play an island, pass the turn. I'll discard a off color depletion. We're going to take three again, going to 14. They have Fairy Macabre, but they put it into the graveyard, so they don't have that to cast. Now we have the Pentide Prism. All right, play that. They could have like De Glamour or something. Looks like they're just gonna use the Troublemaker Oofs though. So let's Insight. Okay, finally find a way to poison them. So land and poison. Pass the turn. Discard the Woodlot and the other Woodlot. I'm gonna play Thorn of the Black Rose, which is fine. Take it in for three. We only have Moments Peace. No Weather the Storms in hand. Definitely going to want this scary. Let's start on Prologue. Put you to two. Let's play Contentious Plan. Put you to three. Play Contentious Plan again. Put you to four. And Dead Prism. Okay, that's good. All Thirsting Roots. Okay, now you're at five poison. And I will Deep Analysis. Another Pentad Prism. I think I'm going to pass and play out the Moments piece on their turn. Or like just see what they do. Moments piece seems like it makes sense. Play the Avenging Hunter. Go moments piece. Pass the turn. No attacks from our opponent looks like. They don't want to attack into my moments piece. I draw a card for turn for the monarch. Um, let's start with a deep analysis. Go to six. Find a weather the storm. Play pentad prism. I'm gonna tap for six and deep analysis myself. Draw. We can Pentad Prism again. Okay, yeah, let's see if I can win this turn. Maybe somewhat unlikely. I'm going to play the Scary then. Finding a Prologue or a Thirsting Roots. I think I want the Thirsting Roots here because so much more mana. You. We can then play our um, Deep Analysis and stuff. Thirsting Roots, Proliferate. You go to seven. And then let's draw two. And then Weather and Weather again. That's the turn. All right, now we're at like a healthy 50 or something, 54. So they're gonna forge their creature. They could definitely disrupt me here, but I feel like I'm gonna be able to win in time. I only need three more poison. They play a plant, I'm gonna get in. Okay, we'll take it. I'm gonna draw five, one card for turn and another four cards. So can I get enough poison to kill them? Plays another Avenging Hunter. We still have the moment's piece in the graveyard, so we can use that on the next turn. We lose five life and go to 38. Okay, trigger. Find a refractor. Let's play that. Draw a card. So now we can make whatever color we need. Let's draw some cards. Draw two. Okay, Vivisurgeon's Insight. Um, I guess I should cast this chalice first. Draw. Doot, 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 doot. Oh my god, the clicks. You're at eight. Then play a land. Two. Three, four, and another blue. Draw some more cards. Okay, they're dead. I don't want to click on my lands anymore. GG. Got them. Go to round four. We're here in round four. We have an unkeepable opener, so we have to mulligan. Just the one land here. Mulligan. Okay. That's a mulligan as well, unfortunately. We're going down. We're going to keep this. Get rid of 
land, prism, bursting roots. Our plan is turn two chalice experimental augury and try to draw, try to find a large draw spell. Turn an idyllic beachfront, which could be cogate. Find an energy refractor, which is quite good for our situation because that'll fix our colors. If they hold up counterspell, I will be sad. They call sacred cat. They could have spell pierce. Can't really do anything about that. No, that really hosed us. I mean, I could have just not played anything and played on their end step, maybe. All right, we're just hanging out, waiting to draw lands. We have all the action now. All right, they can gate their cat. We're going to get in for one holding up counter spell still. We have nothing. Now, I don't really think that I'm afraid of their deck other than the counter spells. We probably have to just like bring in ways to handle that. Holding counter spell. If I don't draw a land, I'm going to scoop and just go to the next game. Is a land. The cat back. Clearly has the counter spell in hand. We find a land. All right. Quit. Go to game two. What are we going to draw? We were so far away. Oh my goodness. London Mulligan did not help me. So I do like serrated arrows in this matchup, actually, because it takes out everything. Kills the guardian as well. I think I want to cut the energy refractor. One weather the storm, one chalice. I'm just not going to really bother with their uh, counter spells. I'm not going to worry about it. Just force right through them. Let them do their thing. Maybe I don't even need the refractor, but I like the card draw, so we'll see. All right, we'd like to play first. Once again, we're going to mulligan. Okay, we have things this time, so I can keep this. I think I can just put back this other swamp. Like the weakest card in the hand. Play out the peat bog. I'm hoping that I can get a uh, inquiry underneath their counter magic. They play a guild gate. All right, we will draw and poison them. We'll start the infection. Pass the turn. Next turn, our plan is to play as scary. And then we're gonna hang out for a little bit. I need to get the chalice in play and then contentious so I can play the inquiry as well. Find a wood lot. Let's play this scary though. Next turn, I could play the wood lot. They have Pyroblast in their deck, apparently, because this is on red. So Woodlot will allow us to cast the Thirsting Roots. They play a Modern Age, potentially holding up Red Blast. Who really knows? I mean, they could just be faking. Find the Serrated Arrows. All right, that's pretty decent. So I'm still just making land drops. I don't want to just jam the Contentious Plan into the thing that I'm foreseeing here with the potential for a Red Blast, but... Next, next turn, I can go Chalice plus Thirsting Roots, and then maybe play the Arrows. Play this Chalice. Okay, they're going to Counterspell. It's, I think fine. I'm going to Proliferate. Get rid of your or, uh, pay for one. And then we'll go ahead and play out the uh, Serrated Arrows and play a land. I'm going to wait until they attack to take out the cat. Like if they gate the cat, I want to um, ping it. But if they don't gate the cat, I want to ping the modern age so that I can take it out in a couple of turns. They're going to attack for one. I'll take the one. Okay. There's another modern age. All right. So they're representing a single counter spell here. We could play the contentious plan first. That's our least impactful proliferation here. We play a sacred cat. All right. Let's in the vector glider and this will tell me if they really did have the pyro in hand play this contentious plan uh okay we'll afraid a bit i'll go ahead and cast this inquiry now find another augury i guess i'll just play it maybe they're holding their pyros for the vivisers and insight okay they have a pyro blast okay and then i will go ahead and oh i lost my peat bog there that was a big mistake Wow, whoops. I'll take the plan. That was a really big mistake. I thought that I was good. I must have not clicked the peat bog when I was proliferating. Jeez. They discarded Dawnbringer Cleric. Brainstorm. Serrated Arrows is just really good versus Kaw. Just peck away at everything. They're trying to peck me. I'll peck you in response. They had that one red blast. Okay, they put their cards back. What's your next phase? What are you going to do? Two mana. Plays another Modern Age. OK. 
Okay. Well, I will just ping the cat right now, I think. I don't I have all these unprotected Vivisurgeon's insights. If I ping the cat and they bring the cat back, that will be good for me because then they'll be tapped out. Pick it in. They don't bring the cat back. Find a Pentad Prism. I like that a lot. Okay. Pentad Prism. Now I've got colors. Let's contentious plan. They're gonna counter. Alright. I will pass the turn. I wonder if they also have counter spell in hand. If I hadn't lost the peat bog there, we could have cast Vivisurgeon's Insight right now. But I did lose it. We have a vector glider. Brainstorms again. I'm just hoping they tap out, but they haven't made any land drops. They've been discarding lands. We're gonna get in for one. Okay. Take the one. There's a heap gate. So now they can start doing stuff. Okay, now they have a guardian, so I will put a counter on the guardian because it has protection from monocolored and serrated arrows is brown. <laughs> it's not colored. And then I'll put a counter on the vector glider and draw three. This, this, counter on you. Then I can play, oh, they scoop it up. Nice. All right, okay, that worked out. Um, So we know they have pyros. Uh, I still don't think it matters that much. Let's just do the same thing. Serrated Arrows is killer. All right, we've opened up a very strange hand because I have an Energy Refractor to... Oh, I already clicked Keep. I have Energy Refractor plus Thirsting Roots. I have ways to get colored sources. Let's play this Woodlot out. Pass the turn. I'm just going to try to make land drops, but if they have a uh, no spell pierce available, then I can go Chalice into Refractor. Nothing. Okay. Pass the turn. Hopefully this refractor pays off. Jeez. I'm kind of banking on it. Will they tap their lands? Plays an island. All right. Let's go play this land. Chalice. Chalice on one. Seagate's on red, not white, so they don't currently have dust dust available. They're considering countering it. They're going to brainstorm, looking for a regular counter spell. Interesting. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we can use the Thirsting Roots over here to search for blue sources. Resolves. We're going to cast another Chalice on one. Resolves. Okay. That was our turn three. And go for the Proliferate. Get a bunch of mana. They have a Spell Pierce. I'll pay for the Spell Pierce. They have another Spell Pierce? No. So they just wasted their card. Cool. Cycles of Lorien revealed. Probably going to slam a Guardian of the Guild Pact here, if I had to guess. They got a regular basic. They're going to brainstorm. It's pretty funny how we have no blue sources yet. I feel pretty solid about this right now. Plays the Squadron Hawk. Okay, so we can go Energy Refractor, draw a card, Prologue into Thirsting Roots. And we'll have four mana available. They get some more Hawks. Plays a preordain, so no spell pierce represented, no red blast represented. They go top bottom. All right, solid. We're gonna refractor, draw a card, draw a wood lot. Don't think I want to play that. Let's go white or uh, make a blue. Play the prologue, draw a card, thirsting roots, proliferate. We counter on you. Done. Then I'm gonna make a blue here and cast Experimental Augury, looking for blue spells, or blue mana. Okay, so we found Inquiry Augury Island. I feel like I have to take the island here, just in case they have the ability to deal with me. You, all right, lots of mana. I'm gonna play the island, get my Augury, and grab this plan. Now I'm just trying to get draw spells. I mean, they're at four poison, I'm looking for ways to poison them more. I'm looking for the serrated arrows. We've got a bunch of those. We have 10 mana of colorless. So this refractor is doing a lot of work, obviously. Probably just spew the deep analysis first. Although I could contentious plan first and have a ton more mana. They get in for one, putting me to 19. There's another hawk. They could also have dust to dust next turn. So I have to think about that. That's deep analysis. Draw. They're considering countering it. All right. 
a dead prism. Even more blue sources. Okay, no counter. Let's play contentious plan. They red blast the contentious plan. Mix in blue. And another blue. This is going to get past a spell pierce here. Shoot. Draw some cards. Go to five. You. All right, we have an island. I think I'm going to deep analysis. Well, I still can. Get while the getting is good. I guess I can just play in this ever flowing chalice here. Pass the turn. We have a ridiculous amount of mana. We're at 16 life though. I'm looking to draw four more cards. We play a modern age. Okay, they found the gate. So this is six damage. They have red. All right, we're in trouble now. Let's start with deep analysis. They have red blast. No. Okay, I'll play prologue. Put you to six. Find a vivid search and insight. So let's make some prisms. Just if this resolves, we're going to be feeling pretty good. Prism again. We have a lot of mana. One, two, three. Blue. Blue. Play insight. Resolves. Yes. Okay, I clicked all my things. I can now play island. It might be dead here. Let's cast experimental augury. Getting my chalices even bigger. And another insight or the, the arrows, but I think I want to just try to win. You <laughs> looked all my things. Let's use the uh, undead prisms for all the mana to pay for the insight. That way we can still tap the arrow flowing chalices for even more mana. Found the <laughs> we win. <laughs> I was gonna say we found the weather storm and a contentious plan. They're super dead. We win the match. All right, three one. Let's go. Round five. We're gonna mulligan this one. I have to mulligan this one as well. Let's see what we get. All right, this is better. So let's keep and put back, I guess it's gonna be the contentious plan. And well, Campo likes to play blue. So I think the deep analysis is good, but the refractor is also quite good. Flip back the deep analysis. I still do need lands. Hoping to draw an artifact that I can use. All right, they're on a goblin combo. That's pretty bad. Play the peat bog and pass the turn. So one thing I can do is experimental augury in response to their combo. I think this is probably one of my worst matchups. They take the augury. That makes sense. It's in for one. So I can play my energy refractor. Draw a card, play the woodlot. Hopefully they don't have the win this turn. Play three mana to get a goblin matron. Goblin matron's gonna get the putrid goblin. They're gonna try to win. So hopefully we just surprise them by having a second experimental augury in hand. I'll pass the turn. Plays a chromatic star. Ractos Carnarium. Picks up a land. They're going to get in for three damage. Okay. Uh, serrated arrows can be okay post-board. Let's try casting this contentious plan. Draw two, or draw a card. I'm going to put my poison in a deadly dispute their chromatic star here. Okay, they're looking for the... Four, uh, First day of class. All right. They land, pass the turn. So if they have double Putrid Goblin, it won't matter anyway. Getting in for three. Okay. They're going to first day of class. Sure. Let's see if we get them with our experimental augury here. Augury, we're going to persist this minus counter. But if they have an unearth, we're dead. They're just going to sacrifice it. I will grab the weather the storm. Maybe that was not necessary. But if we don't die this turn, we need a little bit more life. Plays intro to prophecy. Looking for another putrid goblin to win the game with. They don't have it. Nice. So we're gonna insight. Draw three. And then we can't really do anything else here, so I'm gonna play this and pass the turn. The fanatical offering. Draw some cards. Deadly dispute. Yep. Draw some more cards. Plays a land. Future Goblin, they have the first day of class. Got the first day of class. All right. So they're going to loop for a while. Oh, they have the Dark Dweller Oracle now, so we lose. Okay, GG. All right, so we want the Serrated Arrows and the Bring the Ending. And I think we can cut the Weather the Storms. Maybe entirely. Maybe the Arms of Hadar can be okay as well. We're just trying to counter and kill their stuff. 
And then I'm going to get rid of the energy refractors. Hope to just like get good mana. And one chalice. Two chalices. Okay, we're on the play round or er, post board. We do have arrows, so that's good. Let's keep. Go Hickory Woodlot into Hickory Woodlot, play the arrows. Woodlot, pass the turn. All right, since we have Contentious Plan, I'm going to play Zephyrs and Scary. And then turn two, I'm going to go Prologue Plan. We have a Duress. I wonder if they take the arrows here. All right, they took the Vivisurgeon's Insight. They might have a Pyroblast then. Let's Prologue, draw a card, Contentious Plan. I probably should have played my land first. Uh, play the Peat Bog. Pass the turn. We have the Bring the Ending now. Plays an Icker Wellspring. All right. Arnarium. Play Woodlot. Play the Serrated Arrows out. And then draw a card. Now Bring the Ending is a hard counter. Pass the turn. They play a Great Furnace. All right, my turn. Play the Sappers and Scary out. And then I think I need to pass. The next turn after this, we can draw four cards with Deep Analysis. They're going to Deadly Dispute. They're going to Duress me here. So they pretty much have to take the Brain the Ending. If they take Deep Analysis, it's probably fine for me. Maybe they're going to Mesmeric Fiend me now? No. Okay. I'm going to Deep Analysis. Draw two cards. Okay, I find a Pentad Prism. Pentad. So that's pretty solid. Again. Go for Experimental Augury. Arms of Hadar might be useful. Probably better than the uh, Dallas here. We already have a lot of lands in play. Gonna Deep Analysis. Draw some cards. Find an Island. Just go for the Thirsting Roots. Proliferate. And I'll pass. Okay, he's going after the Pentad Prism with the Cast into the Fire, which I find kind of odd. Doesn't care about the arrows, apparently. There's a land. Prospector, Richard Goblin. I'm gonna kill the Prospector. I mean, he could have a second Prospector. Could also have a second Putrid Goblin. What are you gonna do? Just kind of a gamble there. And they just have it. The combo. GG. All right. So, I I think if you want to actually beat Goblin combo, you probably need Relics in your sideboard. I haven't been playing Relics. Overall, this deck is sweet. I hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun, and I will see you in the next video.